this is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined as always with my good friend Mr. Robert Diaz. A little bit bittersweet because I've spent two weeks with you and I don't know when I'm next going to be with you. But um, look, just seen Edgar Belanga versus Jason Quigley here. Um, I know Jason, your man. Uh, fair to say, slightly underwhelming from Edgar Belanga perhaps as, as to what people expected. You know, I said it before the fight, all the pressure was on him. Um, sometimes in boxing we label a fighter too soon, too quick, it's not their fault. Today, uh, Edgar Berlanga got some very valuable experience, experience that will help him in the future. And Jason proved a lot of people wrong. He didn't win the fight, but he proved a lot of people wrong that said he wouldn't pass two or three rounds. I'm very proud of Jason. I want him to have uh, keep his head up. And you know what? Uh, regardless of what he decides, I'm proud of him. He finished on his feet. Good, tough fight. And all the best to Edgar Berlanga. As far as things go, I mean, credit to uh, Andy Lee and the team because they did box to a great game plan. I know there were times where he got caught with those powerful punches and had no choice but to go down. But as a whole, he boxed a very good fight. He fought well. He fought well. I mean, you know, he landed some good shots. Edgar kept coming. He's young. He's strong. He's a little bull. And uh, I'm proud of Jason. I'm proud of Jason. I thank Andy. Tremendous job in the corner. Tremendous job in camp. And, and you could see the difference today that Andy was with Jason. Just a little bit on Edgar. I think at times it was clear to see that he couldn't quite close the distance. I was watching him and, and sort of quite surprised at how little he throws the jab at times. Do you think there's definitely room for improvement? I mean, before this fight, they spoke Canelo, Canelo, Canelo. Um, but I don't know, it just it clearly work in progress for him. Absolutely, every fight you learn, every year you're, you're progressing. And, and look, this was a great learning experience for Edgar. They'll go back, they'll watch the videos, they'll learn from this. And this is how you progress in boxing. I said it before the fight, it's sometimes too early to label uh, and, and, and live up to the hype. But I think with time, he can, he can definitely get there. Robert, um, I don't know, were you able to catch the heavyweight fight as the co-main yeah, event? Did. What did you make of that? I mean, what a war. What a war. I mean, look, that's the heavyweight division for you. It's always fun. It's always exciting. I want to see that one avoided heavyweight that I'll name in a couple weeks, but that one avoided heavyweight who's going to put everybody on check. I'm interested to see who this is. Um, just a few more from me. I don't want to keep too much of your time. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya. Uh, keeps his Twitter rampage going. I know you don't like to be too vocal on it, but as someone who was at Golden Boy and sort of still very powerful in the industry, uh, what do you make of it? It's all a bit strange. It's Saturday night, f uh, fists are flying, and I guess he uh, misses the ring a little bit. He needs to throw some fists. Okay, Robert D, as always, a pleasure. Uh, I'm not going to push for anything out of you. A few drinks post-fight, I hope. And, uh, yeah, thank you for an amazing couple of weeks. Always, always a pleasure. Please, safe travels. I'll see you in the next one. And remember, <laughs> next time in your 5K, don't let Frank Smith beat you. <laughs> I hate that. Robert, thank you very much.